don't know if I did. Is that better? Everybody, welcome back to the third and final video in the Shasta Saga series where I'm going to show you my trailer finally. So excited to finally see the whole thing. I've been showing you just this side for the past couple of videos, which is where my bed is. And now I've got it cleaned and Pip is perched in her favorite spot. So let's get started. She's here all the time. Oh, I think it's so cute. Hi, Pip. Hi! <laughs> We're gonna pop over here to the shore power. This is where I plug in if my solar is not doing everything that I need it to do. This little hatch is fantastic because I've got a little key. Open this puppy up. And I have all my camping equipment in there. It's very convenient. And I have tools and stuff whenever things inevitably break down. At one point I definitely had that come open and fly open down the road. That was not fun. But we got it fixed. Here is the entrance to the trailer. This is definitely my favorite part because of the grand colorful entrance that you get right as you walk in. I have probably too much ceramic stuff in here. Probably not that great for going down the road in a camper, but I can't not have it. It just it makes me so happy and I just, I can't do without it. I'll do another video specifically for all of the art pieces that I have in this camper, but for now, we're just gonna do a little intro of all of the things within here. So I've got my microwave and my stove top over here on my counter and my sink and my other places that I have storage for things. This beautiful window. I don't use it right now because it's so cold, but you know. One of my favorites is my pink fridge. Oh, it's so pink and cute. I went to the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That's where I got these Campbell soup magnets. Of course, how could I not get them? You know, they're pretty great. My partner Austin made me this little guy. It was quite literally a fly ta taped up in the wind. But I'm a travel bug. Definitely one of my favorites. I also have my silverware in this drawer, other things, and my containers and other stuff in this drawer. I have all my pots and pans hidden in this drawer. I've got my trash can, my reverse osmosis system in there, which leads us up to the sinks. So this little guy is for my reverse osmosis and my lovely little window. Here's my mug wall, all my favorite pieces. I also have my beautiful heating and air cooling system. To turn this bad boy on, on, I gotta use my little remotes over there. This one. <laughs> so it takes like five, ten minutes to get going. It draws a lot of power though. If I want to use my fan up in the very back corner, then I'm gonna take my other remote. And it opens right up. And that's definitely for my summer month. I know you're gonna have a lot of questions on the electrical system. I'm gonna take you down under the bed. And this is also one of my favorite parts of the trailer too. Move my taser from its spot. Ooh. I don't think anybody's gonna mess with me. Need to lift up the bed. Every time I open this, I cannot get over it. We just got this installed like a couple of days ago, so I keep doing it over and over. This is where all my storage is for my batteries. Here are all of my 100 amp hour batteries. There are seven of them, and these lead to the fuse box. Unfortunately, I can't go on the other side and show you more clearly, but this will have to do. There's where all my fuses are. They're all labeled, so on the right side, it's my air conditioner, my microwave, my fridge, bed outlets and things like that. And then the other fuses that if those blow, I have to replace those instead of just flipping them on and off. Those are my fans, my water pump. I then have my inverter, which takes all of the solar on top and converts it into my usable energy. This little black thing is the smart dongle. So that connects to an app on my phone so I can see the charge of all my batteries and everything going on. This, 
The structure of this bed is pretty great. It's definitely not easy to get in here and film everything. Those slots are just to hold my bed up. Same with these guys right here. And that is the Lynx distributor from Battleborn Batteries and Victron. That is just the main center that hosts all of my wires and going into there to keep everything together. This is my main on off switch, which is very important if I ever need to just turn everything off really quick. And this is my solar controller. Fancy, fancy. I've also got my little Jackery, my portable battery if I need that on the go. And I've got all my camping stuff and tools and all my gear back in this in the little pull-out drawer that was from outside the rest of my things back here are my little safe i've got a couple tubs of winter stuff and that's going to be where all of my lovely pottery goes whenever i'm traveling on the road that's also what i plug my shore power up to if i need to charge the batteries if the solar is not working it's just as easy as that it just drops right back down i love it one thing that I love are these little hidden drawers back here. That's where all my chargers go and all of those things that I don't want to mess with. I'm so glad it's warm out today. I can leave the doors open. It's great. And these are all my clothes. There's all my jackets. Don't judge me for how messy I am. This is all my hair stuff, makeup, bathroom, all kinds of things. On this side is my big mirror <laughs> and all my other clothes. Again, don't judge me. I didn't have all these little cubby things in here to begin with. I did this again not too long ago, like maybe a month ago. Game changer. I love it. And I really like this mirror a lot too. On the other side, I've got my shoes. All my shoes in there. All Pip's food and water. Her little spa. She sleeps there sometimes, but she usually sleeps up here or on the bed with me. These are a bunch of prints and other creatures and art-related things that I have made or I have friends that have made. I can I'll do another video of all these guys, but oh, they're just... Oh, they make me so happy. Hi, do you smell my curry? Eventually, I'm going to have a table that comes out of the top of this and swivels around. That'll be fun. So for this side of the trailer, I've got my water tanks, I've got my big windows, and I have a lot of storage over top with the overhang that is on the trailer. And I also have my toilet. So these two seats behind me double as my water storage compartments. When I lift these up, it's got all the tanks underneath and my water hose to fill up the water too. A closer look, there's all my cleaning stuff, canned goods, bags, and hats. I also have these two little hooks up here for something very fun. And now I can do puppet shows or I can, you know, play movies on my projector if I want to do that too. I'm walking into a camper, a little movie playing on this projector over here. You come in, greeted by a friend, grab a drink, and you just get to plop down here and watch a movie. The other nice thing about this is the toilet is completely concealed. You would have no idea that it's sitting in there. None. All you have to do is take off everything. I usually have curtains up here, so... And there it is! Whenever I need a shower, this is also a waterproof box, so I can put up a shower curtain. I haven't tried it yet. So that's going to be interesting. I'll have my geyser system that has a portable water heater built into it and I'll be able to shower right here, which will be great. So a little up closer with these water tanks. They hold about 30 gallons. I've got wool insulating them right now. That's where some of my plumbing goes through. The water tank, the exit water tank is this one. And on this side is my inlet. Ah, oh, my books keep falling. So this is my inlet water tank. That's my accumulator and a switch um, to turn that off. Here's my hose to let water in and my big water tank. All of that runs to underneath here and my piping is underneath there where my trash is. That's where all my water comes in and into the sink. This is all my solar and my AC unit all up on top. I've got my inlet which I just open this up and put my hose in there and it goes into the water tank. This is where the electrical goes for the trail lights and all that good stuff, turn signals. This is the exit hole for my gray water tank and another little one for a vent. These are holding up the trailer right now. Very important. I think that's about it. Hi, <laughs> you coming up? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good in here. We're not mad about it. Hi. <laughs> 
Pip does get a little muddy sometimes. This is her claimed territory. Anytime she gets messy, she can just hop up on this and go, go to town. Even though you have a bed down here. So that's a trailer. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions or want to see anything else, go into more detail on anything, let me know. Maybe we can end videos with Pip doing a trick. You want to do a trick for a treat? Treat? Ready? Is it? Good girl. Up. Oh, good job! Down. All over. No. That's spin. Okay, spin. This way, this way. All over. Oh, you almost did it! Go!